Welcome to This Week in BYU Athletics. I'm your host, Gavin Fowler of the football team. Let's take a look at what happened last weekend in BYU Athletics. We start by taking a look at the undefeated women's volleyball team as they hosted Santa Clara in a WCC matchup. In a balanced team effort, Heather Knighting led the Cougars with 11 kills and 6 block assists. Mary Lake added 18 digs. On Saturday, they hosted San Francisco in the last regular season home match. The Cougars again had a balanced attack and finished with a season best hitting percentage of 537. Senior Ronnie Jones Perry led the Cougars with 12 kills on 19 swings. The volleyball team will finish the regular season with three road conference matches. The men's golf team concluded their fall schedule with a second place finish at the St. Mary's Invitational. Peter Quest continued his hot play by winning the tournament with a 13 under performance. The men's and women's cross country teams hosted the NCAA Mountain Region Championships at the East Bay Golf Course. The men finished in second place and were led by Connor Mance. Erica Berg Jarvis finished third in the women's 6K to help the team finish third. Both teams will compete this week at the NCAA Championships in Madison, Wisconsin. The women's basketball team opened the 2018-19 season by hosting UC Riverside. Brenna Chase and Paisley Johnson led the Cougars with 18 points apiece. Johnson scored with 13 seconds left in regulation to tie the game and send it to overtime. In the extra period, the Cougars prevailed to take home the 72-70 win. The men's basketball team hosted UVU on Friday to open their home season. TJ Hawes led the Cougars with 23 points and 4 assists. Yoli Childs had another double-double with 20 points and 15 rebounds as the Cougars defeated the Wolverines 75-65. The football team traveled to the East Coast to play UMass at Gillette Stadium. Talon Shumway and Aleva Hifo both scored two touchdowns and the defense held UMass to season lows in total yards, passing yards, and yards per play as we won 35-16. The women's cross country team is preparing for the NCAA championship this weekend. We sat down with junior Erica Burke Jarvis, who talks about her journey here at BYU. She leads by example, and I think she's not a really vocal girl when it comes to um, off outside of running. She's a little bit um, more reserved. On the course or on the track, she's quite inspiring and quite vocal. I started running um, probably like in middle school. I think it did take me a long time to realize that I was good at it and that I could go to college and be good. Then the mission age changed and I was like, oh, well, maybe I could go on a mission. So I did. <laughs> I went to Cleveland, Ohio. It was a good place, and I, my husband was in the same mission, so a lot of good things came from it. He's really supportive. Like he, he always like talks me through because I get I get stress and anxiety about races and stuff. He just talks me through it, and he cares about running and cares about like everyone doing good on the team. Erica was part of that team that I, a little bit that I inherited um, in my first year here and she hadn't had a stellar standout season or anything, and so she kind of became this national caliber runner that first year. We were All-American in cross country, All-American in indoor, and the goal was to be like a three-time, you know, get that outdoor, and then she became pregnant with Jack. And it wasn't something that everyone knew about in, in season because she still, she raced the first round of, of regional championships in track, um, or of NCAAs pregnant in the steeplechase. It's a hard balance. I mean, I love running. I love being a mom and a wife, but I mean, I just got to do my best in all my areas. And that's what I try to do. But running is like a relief. Like it gives me, I don't know. It's just, it's good for me. She has had such a tremendous season, but watching her compete and race, um, it's like nothing else. It, it literally gives me chills. When you win anything as a team, it makes it m even more, like it feels even better. I was glad that our team ran well. This weekend, you will have plenty of opportunities to come and support the Cougars. The men's basketball team will host Oral Roberts on Thursday at the Marriott Center. Tip is at 7 p.m. on BYU TV. On Saturday, we have three different home events. Women's basketball starts us off when they host Eastern Washington at 1 p.m. The men's team will follow with Alabama A&M at 4 as part of the Men Against Breast Cancer Cougar Cup. And the football team will have their last home game of the year when we host New Mexico State at 8.15 Saturday night. 
you can watch the game live on ESPN2. Thanks for watching this week in BYU Athletics. We will be back next week with more great highlights and features. Go Cougs!